Hey guys, episode 17 of the Bitcoin and Crypto Portfolio series. A uh, very strange week this week, um, seeing sort of a lot of strength for Bitcoin and uh, weakness for basically everything else here. Um, so obviously because I've got most of my money in Bitcoin, as you can see, uh, the portfolio's up a um, couple of thousand since last week, uh, which considering the uh, uncertainty around the election and COVID and Brexit, everything, um, I thought was pretty good. Um, don't suppose it'll be too affected by Brexit, but uh, I just sort of throw it in there. Might have some uh, UK people selling. Um, but yeah, so if you saw my stock portfolio series yesterday, uh, down quite a bit. Uh, so to see this going up is pretty good. Um, just uh, have a quick look at a news story for the week. Um, is the exchange balance. So this is where sort of most people buy and sell their uh, crypto. Um, and they're showing sort of lowest exchange volume for the last 23 months. So in theory, this means people are taking it off the exchange and wanting to hold it longer term. So you can see this chart is the last year. Uh, the grey line is the Bitcoin price. So it had the March dip and then uh, has sort of returned back to current price. But the orange line is the amount of Bitcoin available on the various exchanges around the world. So you can see that, uh, might not be able to see it if I zoom in a little, uh, that's sort of 2.9 million, uh, 2.95 million at the top, um, and over the last year has come down to 2.5 million. So 400,000 Bitcoin has left the exchanges since sort of the start of the crash. So we'd take this as maybe uh, the slightly richer people uh, buying up Bitcoin and sort of just removing it, putting it into storage for the next few years, which is always good. Uh, means people aren't going to sort of panic sell and uh, should have more stability and hopefully a steadily rising price over the next sort of couple of years. So I thought that was pretty good news. Um, just uh, a quick look at the portfolio then. So Bitcoin is up 6.5% on the week. Pretty good. Um, I think everyone can't tell whether everyone's just selling altcoins for cash or whether they're selling into Bitcoin um, because everything seems to have, everything else seems to have gone down or five to ten percent, uh, Ethereum down four and a half percent, uh, OMG down seven. Uh, it's all pretty much the case with with all of these, to be honest. Um, only three percent for Litecoin. Um, Cardano eleven and a half percent. Some are down sort of low, low double digits. Uh, EOS hasn't really done anything for a little while now. Um, 194, so down 4%. Um, Stellar, XLM, down 7, just all the same as the rest. Tron, just down 4. Uh, there's a couple of sort of slightly bigger fallers, I think, uh, or Ripple. Just down 4%. Uh, basic attention token is probably the biggest faller. Uh, third, nearly 14%. Um, not really sure. I haven't seen too much news on this. I mean, I get it free. You get some free through the using the Brave browser and uh, watching the ads on there. Um, so, can't really see why that's being sold down so hard. Uh, and Power Ledger, about 7%, same as the rest. Dash, I think it has been doing a little better, yeah, 3 
three percent or so so be interesting to see what happens with this over the next week with the election uh, at the moment has sort of been uh, detached from stocks and gold and everything has been sort of steadily rising throughout this turbulent time which is pretty good um if this sort of retains value and uh, keeps going up in value and uh, the stocks are going down then i may have to sell a little bit out and go on a little spending spree on stocks um but yeah so interested in uh, in your guys thoughts leave a comment below and uh, a like is always appreciated and uh, subscribe if you want to see more see you soon